Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bolo Motorsports. Right next to me, we have a beautiful 8,000 mile 2008 GT500. Tasteful modifications, 5.4 liter supercharged, six speed transmission, 8,000 miles. We're gonna try to beat the rain today, give you guys a full walk around, test drive, throw in the lift so you can see underside shots. If you wanna find out more information on this ride, click on the link below. Also, please like and subscribe so we can give you more great cars like this. And like the next one we're gonna be listing up, which is a 1999 Dodge Viper. GTSR replica for the 2000 winning Orica team. Oh yeah. I apologize for some of the drizzles you're gonna see on here, but look at how nice the paint is. We just had it polished, extremely clean. It's a two owner car, full documentation. We're talking about every single receipt. Any part that was removed has been put in a box and you're gonna see that right now. We also have the original SVT certificate, window sticker, breakdown of the receipts as I've stated before, along with the dyno. So originally it had the Ford Motorsport kit on it. An SCT, SCT tuner was purchased and it was put on the dyno. It made 468 or 486 wheel horsepower and 468 foot-pounds of torque. We'll show you that. Hopefully I'm, I'm trying to go off memory here and I haven't looked at that dyno sheet for a couple days, but just around there. Sounds amazing when you're getting on it. It does have the Shelby forged wheels on it. So these forged wheels are larger than the factory ones. Uh, the factory ones will be included with the sale, but they were lent to an individual, so the tires have less tread, and there is minor wear. We'll show you those in the gallery if you want to click on the link below. You got your Shelby Snake here, GT500 uh, insignia on the bottom, and it does have gray stripes. The interior is basically like new because it only has 8,000 miles. You have your shaker sound system with two subs in the back from the factory. You do have an upgraded shift knob from a, I believe a 14 GT500. Carol Shelby Insignia right there. And it's gonna give you the VIN number. Air conditions ice cold. Uh, I don't really see any imperfections throughout the paint. The paint is awesome. Wheels have no curb rash. Tires have about, I'd say 60% tread on the rear and much more in the front because of all the power. It has a Ford Motorsport suspension, so it has sway bars uh, and a whole host of other goodies, including brake cooling ducts. So you'll see that in the underside shots. Rear end is extremely clean. Let me open up the trunk for you. Tail lights are in great shape. They've been upfitted with the, uh, just like the old Shelby's, the lights will sweep, or the new, I'm sorry, the newer Shelby's, the lights will sweep. Rear trunk is very clean. I do have the original long antenna, and then here's the shaker system that comes with it from factory, and it sounds great. No dents or dings on the passenger side. The quarters are great. And please take your time and look at the gallery that's in the link below. You're gonna see how clean it is underneath. The passenger door panel. So you can see that the leather is starting to come off on the panels. I can do that and it fixes it, but it's gonna happen again. Uh, just that would be my only imperfection for the whole car. You can see that the even the sticker here is still on it from factory. Which is beautiful. I'm going to pop the hood and start it up. Oh yeah. 7,900 miles. Sounds really, really good. Let me open this hood. has upgraded valve uh, covers as well. Still has a stock pulley set on it. You can see the stamping here. I actually like this layout much better. Uh, we did not do anything to clean this motor up. I don't like cleaning up these engines because of the, the cast aluminum. It'll get all cruddy if you use a chemical on it. So I just left it 100% alone. You have, um, let's see what we have for modifications under here. I don't see any. So basically it has a tune in exhaust. Very clean. Up here, functional vents. Let's go to the rear. Nice and mellow sound. Let's jump in and go for a ride. We're inside the cabin right now. Steering wheel is near perfect. Red stitching throughout to match the shifter boot and your seat stitching. Air condition works as it should. You do have um, traction control aid right here, which I'm gonna leave on. 
Headliner is very nice. All of your lights operate. And this is a fully documented car for service. Um, we are including the second set of original wheels with the Shelby wheels, the Forge wheels. Uh, 7,905 miles on it. We're going to probably put five to 10 on them today. Or five to 10 on it today. You, it's never been smoked in. Shifter's upgraded. Let's go for a ride. Oh, yes. Put your seatbelt on. Yeah, we need that. We'll open up the vents. You've never driven this one, huh? I did. Oh. It's wild. It's wild? Yeah, I want to step on it like that, though. Really? Yeah. Only second gear. Listen to that thing. Oof. As you guys know, I am a Mustang fanatic. Uh, I, I actually sold my 2020 GT500. It made 855 wheel horsepower, and that was just with a pulley and tune and exhaust. That's crazy. Um, it's crazy how Ford has gone up in regards to power levels with these supercharged motors. And now they have the uh, Raptor R that's coming out, which is the Raptor that they basically started off with a V8. Now it's a uh, twin turbo V6, and now they're going to offer twin turbo V6 or the 5.2 liter supercharged motor, the same one that's in the GT500 with a 10 speed transmission. So that thing is going to rip. Bye bye, Hellcat. I think the suspension on the, on the Raptor is better, anyways. But back to this car. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I got on a tangent. Four tangent. Yep. Oh, it's smooth. Clutch feels good as well. Once we get to a closed area, we can actually, uh, I, I would do, I'm gonna just do a second gear pull. There's no need to, the tires are just gonna spin. But these are really fun. Think about that, 2008 almost, it's like 500 and, I don't know, 540 crank horsepower, basically, yeah. Second gear. Oh yeah, feels good. Even with the traction aid, we were still sliding sideways. <laughs> I love these cars. If you guys have any questions about uh, this specific ride or any of the other inventory that's in the link below, you can give us a call at 954-363-2261. This is a sorted one, fully documented. Interior is near perfect, except for that little door car, which I just showed you. And I believe some adhesive spray would fix that, but they just didn't use the right adhesive from Ford. So come on guys, get it right. But that's really it. You know, it's just this little lip. Exterior paint, I'd rate this easily. It's a nine out of 10, easy. Uh, the only thing that I saw that was changed is the graphics on the rear bumper. When they buffed it out, I asked them to replace the uh, two stripes because I wanted them to pull the stripes off and it is a different gray. So what I did is I actually ordered the correct gray stripe piece and I will include the, the material. So if you guys want to change it, if it bothers you, you can. But listen to that thing. I love it. Oh, no tail lights, no brake lights, only in Florida. Oh, and they're gonna cross in front of them. Oh, they're opening the door, yelling at him. Mm -hmm. I love it. The best part about this car is the delivery of power because it's supercharged. It's like instant torque. Can't do it on this road. We're in fourth. Let me put it in six to show you that the clutch doesn't slip. So we have no slippage, it's pulling still. Downshifts are easy. 
no pop out. Suspension feels great too. So you have the Ford Motorsport kit on here with the upgraded uh, sway bars and springs. No chattering. And you could do like, if I roll into it. The traction aid just kicks in. And that sound. Line for me. No, no, absolutely not. Like you could go into second. feel great too. No shimmying, no shaking. <laughs> I've got the cameraman giggling like a little schoolgirl over here. The reverse is easy. See, so watch first gear. You hear the traction button going, like, hey, don't do that. No, no. I'm going to turn it on. Let's get some outside shots and let you guys decide if this is the right ride for you. But plenty of power, <laughs> great looks, and that sound. Can't beat it. I hope you guys are enjoying this test drive. If you have any questions, give us a call at 954-363-2261. Also, if you have any suggestions on something we should do differently in the video, please leave a comment below. Gosh, I don't want to see Yeah, you better put your seat. Oh, you should have it on. Last time we had a Mustang like this, I did the drive-bys by the other property over there and they were having a, like a major business meeting. They, the secretary came out and the, the owner of the building, like big time, said, he goes, it sounds amazing. But can you stop? We're trying to have a meeting. <laughs> <laughs> I just the whole meeting. Drive. If you have any questions, give us a call, 954-363-2261. See you later.